Hey everybody, it's me again. Uh, and when you should know it, there's another nasty virus going around. And I've had a lot of reports from my clients lately that have really been hit bad with this virus. And none of them are really sure how it comes in. But it's called the Z-Lob virus, or Z-L-O-B. Z-Lob virus, whatever. But it's a nasty bugger, and it's really hard to get rid of. And if you've gotten hit with it, you're going to need help getting rid of it. I'm going to run you through four or five steps. Some of it deals with uh, unregistering DLL files. Uh, I'm going to show you how to kill a process that's running. And I'm going to show you how to empty your temporary internet files and run a, a clean disk manager. There's a link over here for the text file that contains all of the files that you need to search for and the registry strings that you need to follow and see if they exist and delete them. And, uh, Hopefully you don't have the virus. So the first step, what you want to do is hold down Control, Alternate, and then click Delete. And that'll bring up your Windows Task Manager. Usually it'll start out on Applications and it shows you what's running. But what we're going to do is click on Processes. Click on the image name so you can put them in alphabetical order. I'm going to highlight the one I don't want and click End Process. And it's going to give me a warning that terminating a process can cause undesirable results in loss of data. And pretty much the only time you're going to see a problem with loss of data is if you actually have a, um, a game open where you've got saved progress or you've got a Word document open, you're going to lose whatever you've changed in it, uh, stuff like that. So I'm going to click Yes to terminate the process. So you go down the list of the printout that you've got. You look for the processes that are listed in the printout, and you find it in here, you highlight it, click End Process, and then click Yes, and that'll close that process. Okay, and that's how, that's how you end the process. Okay, once you've stopped all the processes that are listed in the printout, um, now we have to unregister the DLLs that we're controlling those processes. And we're going to do that by going to the Start menu, click on Run and type in CMD for command. Click OK or hit enter and that'll bring up your command prompt. Let's put it in the center. And we have to type in reg R E G S V R 32. And then hit space forward slash U space and then type in the file name and the one we're looking for at the top of the list, we're just going to try it, gtawclv.dll. Then you hit enter. See it says load library, the name of the file failed, the specified module cannot be found. That's because that particular DLL doesn't exist. Now if you've got the Zlob virus, it may or, this file may or may not exist on your computer. But if it does, um, it would have told you that it was unregistered successfully. And if it doesn't find it, that's that's good too. So click OK. Type in regserv again. Space forward slash U space in the next file name in the list. And click OK. OK, see it says it can't find it. And when you're done, type exit and hit enter. Okay, and once you've gone through the list of the DLL files that you need to unregister, we're going to have to remove the registry entries if they exist. And we're going to do that by clicking Start, Run, type in RegEdit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, click OK or hit Enter, and that'll open your registry editor. The first thing you want to do in the registry editor before you make any changes is click on my computer and make sure it's highlighted. Go to File, Export, and type a name in here, Registry Backup, or whatever you want to name it. And automatically defaults to my documents. You can save it there if you like. And click Save. And this might take a minute because it's backing up your entire registry. That way if you do make a mistake, you can go back and restore your registry. Okay, go down the list and do a search for the entries that you printed out. Uh, the first one on the list was located in H key 
local machine, software, classes, CLS ID. So we're going to go there, click on the plus sign next to local machine, next to software, go down to find classes, it's all in alphabetical order, and we're going to scroll down to CLS ID. There it is. CLSID. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight CLSID. And because the first string we're looking for is such a long group of numbers, we're going to go to Edit, Find, and we're going to type in just the first few uh, letters or characters of that string, which is 70D17A5F. And we're going to hit Find Next. It'll search the registry. This might take a while because it, it's only searching under the CLS ID because that's the one we had highlighted. Okay, it finished searching the registry. It didn't find any, so we're good. If you've got the Zlob virus, it would have found it. Okay, so when it finds an entry that you're looking for, it'll highlight. It'll show you the open folder where all the others are closed. That one will be open. Normally it'll be at the bottom. You want to right click on that entry and hit delete. It'll ask you, are you sure you want to delete the key and all of its sub keys? You click yes if that's on the list. Okay, and there's eight different values that you need to look for in here. You just go back to the top, follow the path down to it, and do a search for it when you get to the end of the string and delete those entries if they exist. Okay, the fourth part of getting rid of this Zlob virus is to go to Start, click on Search, click on All Files and Folders. Under the More Advanced Options tab, make sure you have Search Hidden Files and Folders checked. You can close that back up, go to the top window, type in the first name on the list, isamini.execute. Let the window search for that file. Hopefully it doesn't find the file, but if it does, I'm going to do another search for another file just so you can see what happens when you have a successful search. Let's call this one Notepad. Okay, I'm going to search for Notepad. Okay, when you do a successful search, it's going to bring up the file name you were looking for. It's going to tell you where it's located. And if it's on the list, then you can right-click on that file and choose Delete. Okay, once you've found that file, you click back, type in the next file name, hit search again, and let it search. If it comes up with no results, that's great. You don't have that file, so you don't need to worry about that. Just do a search for all the files that are on the list, and right-click on them and delete. Then when you're done with your search, you can close that program. And the only thing else I can offer is to make sure you install Avast Antivirus and run a boot time scan. And hopefully that will clear up your virus infestation if you do have the Zlob virus. There is one more thing you should probably do that I'll mention real quick is cleaning out your temporary folders. Go to Start, click on Run, and type in Clean Manager, C-L-E-A-N-M-G-R. Hit enter or click OK and that will bring up your list of drives. You want to scan your C drive, click OK and it will scan your drive for disk cleanup. Sometimes this takes a minute if you've got a lot of files in there. Okay, When the scan is complete, make sure your recycle bin is checked, your temporary internet files, and your temporary files. Click OK. And it's going to ask you if you want to, sh are you sure you want to perform these actions? Yes. And that'll clean out your cache and give you a fresh new start 